Hello again everybody, happy Monday, hope you're doing well. And I've got a shirt for you today that I got in a little bit of an exchange with a friend. She said that she picked this shirt from a mystery box and felt like it was more suited to my collection than hers. And I also had a shirt that I was probably looking to sell but would be more suited to her collection. So we just like, well, let's just do a little exchange and then just see how we like each other's shirts. So the shirt that I sent her way was a Peterborough home shirt. She has connections to that part of the world and it was the 1920 season. And it's actually really nice. It's blue, so it's very similar to the Chelsea shirts, I suppose. Has a great collar. That one went down like a treat. And the shirt that I have is this one here. So obviously it's already been opened, so there's nothing to me unpackage this video, but I can show you which one it is specifically. And she wasn't too sure if it was gonna be one that I already had. Luckily, it is a team that I do need. So let's start with the rear of the shirt. Some stuff that you can probably uh, sort of notice straight away. It does say Charlie on the top there. Wonder where this one's from. Is it going to be Mexico? And if we turn it around and we see the front of the shirt, more than likely, you can probably confirm that yes, it is a Mexican club. You can uh, recognize the club from the crest or the shirt. Well done to you. It's not too bad, is it? It's got a very different design. Got this interesting sort of chevron, uh, sort of triangular pattern that runs down the front there, which is sort of made up of like very thin horizontal stripes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dress the mannequin and explain to you a little bit about the shirt itself, because to be honest, I wasn't too specifically sure what season it was. Um, I had recognized the club before because the crest is really cool. I really like that sort of crest. I, I love the uh, Mexican crests. They probably are the best out of all of them. Um, and then I'll explain to you a little bit about the club because they've got quite an interesting story. Okay then, mannequin is dressed, shirt's looking really nice. But who is the club I hear you say? It's CD Veracruz and they come from Mexico. And it's their home shirt from 2019-2020. So kind of a recent edition there. Like I mentioned, it came from a mystery box. So it's medium and has tags. So it definitely ticks all the boxes for my collection. Uh, the club comes from Veracruz. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? They are colloquially known as Tiburones Rojos, probably not pronouncing that perfectly, which means the red sharks, which is present in the crest there, and also a little bit on the shirt itself, which I'll explain to you about in a minute. Uh, the club was founded in 1943, and they dissolved in 2019, which means, yes, that this is their final home shot they, that they ever wore before they ceased to exist. And what was the reason for their dissolving? Well... Monetary issues, no surprise there. It kind of affects clubs all over the world. Kind of quite common in Mexico. Um, though I think recently they've released a statement saying that they paid all of their debts off and they look, look to return to League MX, the top division. Not really sure if that's possible or how that works because, well, kind of be like, right, okay, we stopped playing, but we're back now, so we're going to go back to the top division. Thanks, guys. Um, so during this period when they were struggling with money, they were also kind of struggling on the pitch. They went... 41 games without a single victory, which spanned across a full season and probably bookended either end of one season or another. Uh, and they didn't win a single game. They kind of became one of the worst teams in football history. Um, how did they not get relegated? Does that mean that there was a team worse than them in the league? No, it just means that they paid off, which is something that you can legally do in Mexico. You can pay money. I don't know if it's still the case, but you could certainly could pay money to the league. Millions of pesos, is that what it is? And um, that would be it. You'd be like, okay, so here's some money, we're staying. Which is a really dangerous thing for a club that already isn't paying their players, isn't probably paying the rent for the facilities, maybe the stadium. Let's use the last bit of money that we don't have to survive in a league that we do not win games. Oh, look at that, we've dissolved and we don't exist anymore. What a surprise. Um, feel sorry for the fans, to be honest. Um, reminds me of a team in Brazil, Ibis Sports, who are officially known as the worst team in football. I think it even says it on their crest. During 1980 to 1984, did not win a single league game, um, which kind of has become their identity. I think they kind of got upset when they did start winning games, which I think is quite funny. Um, but with regards to this club, they weren't always terrible. They didn't always have issues. They have actually won the league title twice. You just kind of have to go a little bit further back in time to a period when people can remember it. Uh, 1945, 1946, and 1949, 1950 were the times that they won the league title. So it's been 70 years since they've won their uh, sort of silverware, certainly with regards to league silverware. Uh, might have to wait a little bit longer for that to happen again, specifically if they don't really play football at the moment. 
So this is a Charlie manufactured shirt, which should be really no surprise to anybody, to be honest, because they kind of have a little bit of a monopoly on the clubs that are in the league right now, which, you know, I'm not upset about because they do make some nice designs. Of course, we mentioned the Chevron running across the front there. And then on the back of the shirt, there is an embossed shark, which is, of course, the one from the crest there, which I actually didn't even see the first time looking at it. On the inside of the collar, there is the shark and the ball, which, again, makes sense. And on the cuffs of the sleeves, it says Siempre Veracruz, which translates to Always Veracruz, which is kind of ironic, which is present on their final home shirt before the club no longer exists. So <clears throat> maybe not quite always and forever, maybe just for a period of time. Um, but that's it. That's a, that's really the shirt that I have. Um, I'm really pleased to own it because, of course, the club doesn't exist. And I noticed that a few years ago. And I thought, OK, I need to find one of these shirts because naturally, when a clean, clean disappears, don't be releasing too many shirts going forwards. And finding their back catalogue in mint condition can be quite difficult. Classic football shirts had some for sale, but they didn't have any of my size left. So I was like, damn, missed a chance there. So when I was presented with this shirt, it was actually really, really surprising and really, really nice because it was a team that probably is going to be quite difficult going forward to buy their shirts for unless they do refound in some sort of capacity. Um, I seem to be collecting Mexican shirts quite commonly re recently. I don't specifically go out and find them. I don't, I'm not trying to complete the league, but um, I don't know how many I have now, maybe 15 or so. Um, one day we'll probably get the full league and then at some point another team will disappear again and we'll have to find their replacement. Um, but that's it really. A big thank you to my friend for this shirt. It's a really great edition boss. Um, just, just great. I hope you enjoy your Peterborough shirts. And, and that's kind of it really. The rest of the week videos for this week are going to be shirt openings also. We're going to have a player issue one on Wednesday, I think. And then on Friday it's mystery box time. It's the end of the month once again. I think you might actually be able to see it in the background. Could you imagine if this shirt was in that parcel again? That would be just ridiculous. I mean, we'll have to wait and see if that happens for that video. So, guys, hope you have a great week going up ahead. Thank you, as always, for watching my videos, and I'll see you again on Wednesday. Goodbye.